Modern Anis is a uh, a branch in Filipino martial art. If you have uh, 7,000 islands and islands in the Philippines, we have also a couple of hundreds of different Filipino martial art. And Modern Anis is one of those that was the, one of the Filipino martial art that was developed by my late dad, Grandmaster Remy Presas, in the late uh, 50s. He went to so many uh, different uh, masters or teachers in the Philippines in the, uh, in the uh, uh, early 40s and 50s, and he decided to form his own system. The traditional ways of teaching Arnis then was the heating of the hand. And because of this, it had discouraged a lot of uh, students to study Arnis because it's so brutal and it's so, uh, somebody always get hurt. So what he did, instead of hitting the hand, he decided to, uh, to formulate his own system is by hitting the, uh, the, the stick of his opponent. The stick is the extension of the hand. And because of this, he was able to encourage a lot of uh, new practitioners to uh, pick up the sticks and study uh, modern anise. The, the difference between modern anise and other FMA is that every, every system in, uh, in FMA, whether it could be Kali, it could be Arnis, it could be Screma, it could be Dose Pares or Balintawap, every uh, system is good by itself. Uh, in modern anise, it's more that of the approach is systematic. For instance, in, in modern anise, we have the, the Dumog or the grappling. Sikaran is a branch of Arnis that we use utilize the uh, the feet to kick and uh, in Korea that's equivalent to Taekwondo. We have also the topic of Bisadario. The uh, Bisadario is a type of technique in modern Arnis that deals with counter against counters against one stick, double stick or espada itaga or the empty hand. And we have also the uh, the topic of uh, the uh, the knife technique. All of these topics are covered under the uh, modern anise. My primary background in, in modern anise is I was the first student of modern anise. This is way back in uh, the, uh, the early 60s. Because I was, the first, uh, I was the first boy in the family, I was compelled to study modern anise. I was the first black belt in modern anise. I was forbid to study any other system other than modern anise. The reason is my dad would always believe that for his son to become more proficient in the system, he needs to concentrate only one system, which is the family art. I have become an expert in, uh, in the study and propagation of modern anise. I came from the, uh, the old schools of modern anise in which you have to read to start it, to study it within the family. The, the future of modern anise under Marpio is that uh, I have basically transformed the system of modern anise the way I cover the seminars or the way I teach on my school. When uh, my late father passed away in 2001, I have asked myself, what can I uh, basically contribute to what he had started? And because of this, I have made a research in uh, the different uh, topics that my late dad had covered before on his teaching and after he has been teaching modernist for the past, I would say about 50 years, is that I need to uh, add more the topics that he has covered. And because of this, the last topic that he covered before he passed away was Bisadario, one stick. So what I did with the Bisadario, I cover it with one stick and then as soon as I'm done with one stick, I went to double stick, I went to the empty hand and the spada idaga. And I also covered the concept of the, uh, the grappling or the dumog in modern anise. He had started the dumog before way back then, but he was not able to finish the, uh, the topic. So I have covered now the dumog, the grappling, with the use of uh, the locks on the Achilles heels when I do the, uh, the, the entry and the takedown. I have also covered the, uh, the knife drill in modern anise and the knife disarm. And I have also covered the concept of uh, the sikaran, the throwing of throwing and locking and takedowns. All of these are part of the seminars and the 
the the topics that I cover on, on my on my seminars all over the world. The best advice that I can give to people who wanting to uh, study uh, modern is they need to go to uh, a uh, instructors that are that has dedication in the propagation of the uh, modern anis. The best way to do this is by, uh, by uh, going to the schools they need to attend, you know, try to go and check out the schools for a couple of times, not only once, twice, but uh, more to find out whether it would really uh, cater with uh, what you need and get those instructor who has a good background in modern anis. How does one uh, deliver the strikes? How does one deliver the techniques? And, and how does one relate the topics that he's teaching to his students? And by a careful uh, evaluation of this, one would eventually would get a good school to start his learning process 